I play Dr. Sturtz, who is the Beverly Hills plastic surgeon to the stars. And he, uh, he is assigned to make Liberace lose weight. So he creates a special diet called the California diet, which is perfectly safe. Meanwhile, it's liquid cocaine <laughs> and Demerol. Eventually, he gives Matt Damon's character a facelift to look like Liberace. You can't make it up. It's all true. As I was researching this part, um, I found out that Dr. Starts is a real person. Um, it's all in the book, uh, Behind the Candelabra, on which the movie's based. Uh, there are no photos, at least that we could find. So I had to figure out what I wanted him to look like. And I called Stephen, and I said, um, what is your appetite here for, like, how out there? He says, oh, whatever you want. I said, good, because I'm, I'm, I'm down. So I'm going to bring it. So just get ready. He's described in the book really vividly. I think the line is, I, I, I wish I knew the line, but it's something about how pulled his skin is. So that was, that, that was a real thing. So the question is, how do you look like you've had a horrific facelift? So um, we, we did the old technique that they used to do on all the old female film stars before there was plastic surgery. So there's lots of tape. You have to wear a wig. It's wrapped around the back of your head. It hurts like hell. I mean, it, by the end of the day, tears were streaming down my face. Um, tears were also streaming down other people's faces for other reasons, looking at me. I guess he invented bling. I guess Li Liberace invented bling. I mean, I have, there are pictures of him with gigantic rings on every finger. I, 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 one of my favorite things is every morning watching the prop guys come up to Michael with a case of the most gaudy, outrageous diamonds and gold and chains, and Michael would be like, um, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. And that was all for his hand. I walked onto the set, and Michael was Liberace. It was amazing. I, it was amazing. I mean, I, I would sit there in my very first day and work with him. He had a three-page scene, just the three of us, I think. A lot of dialogue. And halfway through, I couldn't help but go, wait a minute, that's Michael Douglas. That's Gordon Kemper. That's the American president. Oh, my God. And look at him. For me... Working with Steven, Matt, Michael, that in and of itself is enough to do almost anything. But to be able to play a character like Starts, who is so transformational, for somebody like me who rarely gets to do that kind of work, um, was just a pleasure. It was freeing. I had a blast. And yet there's that danger because it's so outside the norm of what I've ever done that Matt and I would look at each other and go, they may come any day and take our Screen Actors Guild cards away from us for trying this. <laughs> <laughs>